Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You are knowing what you are wanting? Yes. Really? <laughs> well, we believe that you believe that you do, to some extent. In other words, Knowing what you don't want helps you to know what you do want, doesn't it? Someone said to us one day when we were trying to get them to focus upon positive things and we sort of laid out a list of positive things that she might think about and she said, oh, Abraham, I don't want those. I've already got those. And what she really meant was the things that I want are the things that have not yet happened. And we want to help you to realize that if you're thinking about things that you want from the standpoint that they have not yet come to fruition, that they are still missing in your experience, then you're holding it in a sort of suspended position where the distance between where you are and where it is is not closing. So what we're wanting you to realize is you have these patterns of thought and law of attraction is helping you to sustain the pattern of thought that you have. A belief is just a thought you keep thinking. And so early on in your experience, by your exposure to life, you began developing some patterns of thought. Sometimes they were carefully taught to you by others. Sometimes it came because of something that you observed and then talked about and then remembered and then attracted again and then talked about it and then remembered and then attracted again. In other words, life is very interesting here, isn't it? Because you can't talk about anything for very long before it begins to replicate itself in your life experience. And it's what makes you develop your patterns of what you call truths. You say... At first I wasn't sure, and then I pondered it for a while. And once I gave it my attention, I began seeing evidence of it everywhere. And now I believe it, and now that I believe it, it's manifesting in my experience. And we say, that's really wonderful, isn't it, if it's stuff you want? But if you are repeating patterns of thought about things you do not want... And in your environment, oh, you are very, very good at that. You have this sort of mass consciousness theory that goes like this. If we don't beat the drum of our history, we are sure to repeat it again. And we say, the contrary is true. The more you beat the drum of anything, the more you activate it in your vibration. The more it is activated in your vibration then the more law of attraction is matching you up with things like it. And the more law of attraction is matching you up with things like it, the more you observe it. And the more you observe it, the more you talk about it. The more you talk about it and observe it, the more you beat the drum of it or offer the vibration of it. The more you offer the vibration of it, the more law of attraction matches you up with it. The more law of attraction matches you up with it, the more you're living it, the more you're talking about it, the more you're beating the drum of it, the more you're offering the vibration of it. The more you're offering the vibration of it, the more the law of attraction lines you up with it. The more law of attraction lines you up with it, the more you notice it. The more you notice it, the more you talk about it. The more you talk about it, the more you offer it vibrationally the more you offer it vibrationally the more law of attraction lines you up with it the more law of attraction line we could go on <laughs> your life experience is showing you that you just cannot keep telling the same story without continuing to live the same circumstances and so this gathering we're calling it the art of allowing but what it really means is the art of telling a different story the art of telling the story the way life has helped you carve it out incrementally but telling the story with your words with your observations with your expectations with your vibration then when law of attraction is responding to your deliberate offering of thought now you're getting what you want not just what you're observing are there things in your life that are as you want them to be? Keep telling that story. Are there things in your life that are not as you want it to be? Don't tell that story. You cannot choose something that feels better until you are aware of what you are choosing. So relief is the order of business. What do you want to talk about? Oh, you have come with some things. 
Thank you very much. Um, this veritable fortune that I've been amassing for so long. <laughs> I was don't, don't use sarcasm now. Oh. <laughs> I'd love a little bit more of your experience on how I can deliberately be leaning more towards allowing it. Now, anyone who listens back, and, and especially those who, who are sitting here in the room, you, you might feel yourself wanting to say, especially by the end of the day, Abraham is really nitpicking here. But we want you to feel, if you can, the feeling place from which that question comes. In other words, this veritable fortune, and we, we, sensed, we sensed a sort of mocking tone. <laughs> <laughs> if there's, where's my stuff? If law of attraction is as you say, and I've been amassing this fortune, then where is it and how can I get to it? And we want you to just feel for a moment how, what is the dominant vibration within that sentiment that you offered? Was he offering the vibration from the lack of the money or from the having of the money? Lack. And and we know, you say, well, of course he is because it isn't there yet. So how can he offer a vibration about a state of being that he has not yet achieved? And we say, you just got to figure out how to do it because until you do, you can't have the state of being that you want to achieve. You have to find the vibrational essence of it. And so the work is you have to find a way of distracting yourself from the absence of the money while you activate within yourself a feeling of the money. So things like feeling appreciation for the prosperity that you are living, feeling appreciation for the possibility of more coming. In fact, we'd like to say that even when you get into an attitude of hope, you're much closer in vibration to allowing it than when you are in the vibration of doubt. So we teased you about a little bit of sarcasm about this veritable fortune, but we want you to realize that when you feel sarcastic, when you feel pessimistic it's a far cry from feeling optimistic and hopeful so the answer to your question how do I let my fortune come to me and me come to my fortune it's by pretending that it's already done by by taking piece of pieces of the fortune and mentally expending it by imagining how much fun it will be to have it to enjoy the feeling of relief even before you have the actual reason to feel the relief by caring so much about the way you feel that you guide your thoughts apart from the reality we love your question we love the question how do I get from where I am to where I want to be and the answer is look in the direction of where you want to be and speak in the direction of where you want to be and never again look back over your shoulder about where you have come from and if you can pull that one off as soon as tomorrow you'll have evidence of your veritable fortune hmm. astounding thank you